video we want to look at the pathogenesis of atherosclerosis right or atherosclerosis the disease okay pathogenesis of atherosclerosis see there are uh, two hypotheses or two theories given one of them is the reaction to injury hypothesis the other one is monoclonal hypothesis okay in this video let us look at reaction to injury hypothesis <clears throat> there is an injury to the endothelium which mostly is the cause but it is not always required for an atheroma to form you don't need an endothelial injury now why does the endothelial injury happen mainly because of hemo dynamic stress right or it can be cause of this this lipidemia okay now this is not always the trigger okay it can be mostly the trigger okay so this lipidemia and hemodynamic stress okay can cause endothelial injury chronic dyslipidemia okay now what are all these stresses you should mention them mechanical trauma hemodynamic forces immunological chemical mechanisms metabolic agents such as uh, chronic dyslipidemia hemo uh, homocysteine circulating toxin from systemic infections viruses hypoxia radiation carbon monoxide and tobacco all of these can cause endothelial injury okay now moving on to the second step there smooth muscle proliferation from media to intima so what happens the smooth muscles which are there in the media in tunica media they proliferate into the intima so this is the next step who and all are encouraging this the platelet derived growth factors the fibroblast growth factors the okay these okay and then you have even nitric oxide right nitric oxide endothelin all these promote the smooth muscle proliferation from the media into the tunica intima now even collagen synthesis will happen because of by the smooth muscles okay collagen from smooth muscles come in this is because of tg f transforming growth factor beta and because of inf gamma fine is it clear so first two steps we have explained just look at some diagrams here as you can see here this is the endothelium which is continuous right in between here there is a denuded endothelial lining this is the begin of the whole thing here is tunica media with the smooth muscles tunica intima is here okay with the connective tissue this is the first thing first of all endothelial injury happens then what happens the smooth muscles from the media they start proliferating into the intima this is the second step okay and any endothelial damage attracts platelets so that is also happening remaining i will explain to you hold on now let's move on smooth muscle proliferation from media to intima is over coming to the third step in this reaction to injury hypothesis the third step is monocytes now these monocytes what they do they come in they um actually what happens the plasma ldl which the ldl which is there in plasma it will go it will enter the intima and undergoes oxidation fine now this oxidized ldl 
will attract monocytes oxidized ldl attracts monocytes fine these monocytes what they do they will pick up these um, they will pick up these ldl okay and they will become foam cells okay the oxidized ldl attracts proliferates immobilizes and activates the monocytes and they readily take up okay by the scavenger receptor they take up the lipid okay and forms they transform into a lipid laden foam cell these monocytes via the scavenger receptors on them they eat this ldl oxidized ldl and they convert into foam cells look at the diagram here pay attention here here you have oxidized ldl in plasma right the plus the ldl has actually got oxidized the normal ox, uh, ldl is fine but this oxidized ldl is cytotoxic to the endothelium that's why they have put arrow here cytotoxic to the LDL, ldl sorry to the endothelium the monocyte the blood monocytes which are present in the blood they are uh, the, they are attracted okay the ldl attracts these monocytes the ldl which is oxidized that attracts the monocyte the monocyte has some scavenger receptors okay the scavenger receptors because of these it takes up the oxidized ldl and the macrophage emigrates into the intima and they convert into a foam cell lipid laden foam cell is this clear so just uh, moving on to the next step thrombosis anyways here you remember that hdl is having anti atherotic effect it doesn't cause um, atherosclerosis however ldl is dangerous okay thrombosis see any injury to endothelium will actually uh, invite what it will invite the platelets right platelets will always come in in any endothelial injury now this atheroma especially the boulders what happens in the edges there is um, damage to the endothelium okay so in the corners of atheroma there are endothelial injuries okay these endothelial injuries attract platelets they attract what they attract platelets and there can be small platelet aggregations fine what else you should know here now there could be inflammatory reactions also are you able to see inflammatory reactions also can be there fibrin will come in and this thrombus will become a part of thrombus will become a part of atheromatous plaque thrombus becomes a part of atheromatous plaque so this is how a atheroma is formed this is the pathogenesis of atherosclerosis by explained by this reaction to injury hypothesis okay so how many steps you saw in endothelial injury smooth mu muscle proliferation from media to intima monocytes which become foam cells then you have thrombosis which can become a part of the atheromatous plaque look at this endothelial injury we have already seen this diagram then we saw how um, smooth muscles are proliferating here from the media to the intima then we saw how the foam cells are there blood macrophages then you have the foam cells being formed here right look at this now the lipid extracellular lipid will become cholesterol cleft actually this diagram um, you have to draw finally look at this diagram you already know some things let me show you here this is the platelet um, a macrophage with the platelets these are the macrophages that have eaten the lipids they are called foam cells and uh, these are the neovascularization these are the smooth muscles that are proliferating from the media into the intima then you have neovascularization happening that also you will have to write here 
So, mark this here as neovascularization, okay, new blood vessels will form. So, did you understand the endothelial injury hypothesis? The actual word you should see is reaction to injury hypothesis. What is it? Reaction to injury hypothesis, okay. There is yet another hypothesis to explain the formation or the pathogenesis of athero, um, atherosclerosis. So, here the second theory is monoclonal hypothesis. Here mainly they believe that the smooth muscle cells proliferation is the main primary event which leads to the atheroma, okay. So, the proliferation of the smooth muscle cells is the primary event that is what they think, okay. See, there is something more that you need to know here. A fully developed atheroma will have, can have a fibrous cap also. Okay, there could be a fibrous cap. Elastic lamina is disrupted. Inner core. So, this is thin media. Media is thin. Then you have smooth muscles here. Plasma cells lymphocytes everything have come in okay please learn this diagram 